Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's an open the box and it's another in the series of Not A War Game Wednesday. And the game in question is Eldritch Horror, a board game of global mystery and horror for one to eight players, part of the Arkham Horror Files, designed by Corey Konietzka and Nikki Valens, and published, of course, by Fantasy Flight Games. So, as always, what's all this about? The end of the world draws near. The world stands on the brink of catastrophe. The year is 1926, and an elder being of unfathomable power threatens to awaken from its long slumber, bringing death and madness in its wake. Strange cults and unspeakable monsters wreak havoc on every continent as the fabric of reality tears itself apart, opening gates to bizarre other worlds. Only a few brave investigators understand what is truly happening. These tenacious souls come from every walk of life to pit their skills and weapons against the threat of the Ancient One. It falls to them to explore the most remote corners of the globe, to fight the nightmarish creatures that lurk in the shadows, and to find the answers to the ancient mysteries of this Eldritch Horror. So Eldritch Horror is a cooperative adventure game for one to eight players, inspired by the best-selling Arkham Horror board game. Ages 14 plus, players, as we just said, one to eight, and game time, two to four hours. Lots of stuff in the box, which we'll have a look at. Right, let's get that shrink wrap off. The shrink wrap is off, so let's open the box. First thing we see, the rule book and a reference guide. Let's have a look at those. So here's the rule book, full color, glossy paper, and comes in at 16 pages. So a little bit of backstory here, how to use the rule book, game overview, players and investigators, all the components, how to set up the game. Quite a big setup, I understand, for this game. So nine stages, it looks like. Building the Mythos deck. Object of the game, playing the game. So there are three phases. Action phase, encounter phase, and the mythos phase. And these are explained in more detail. Here's the action phase. The encounter phase. Some examples here, which is good to see. And the mythos phase. And then winning the game. What are clues? Some additional rules. Other world encounter example, gaining possessions and conditions, delayed investigators. Yes, yeah, something happens which delays them. They can't take part in their next turn, I understand. And they're all part of the uh, additional rules. So we've got tests, gaining possessions and conditions, delayed investigators, health and sanity, combat encounters, epic monsters, and ambush. A combat example there. On the back, rumours, mysteries, and good grief, the Ancient One awakens. Them's the rules. Here's the reference guide. Again, 16 pages. It says here, using this reference guide, it's intended as a reference for all rule queries not answered in the main rule book. It also says this reference guide does not teach players how to play the game. Players should first read the rule book in its entirety, then use this reference guide as needed when playing the game. Five main sections in this guide, glossary, FAQs, abilities of investigators, optional rules, 
index and quick reference. Stop. It says read the rule book. As questions arise during gameplay, players should reference this guide instead of the rule book, the golden rules here as well. So we'll just have a quick look through this. Lots of text. So if you're looking to see what an omen is, you look it up here, I assume. It's in alphabetical order. FAQs, the investigators and their abilities. It explains them a bit further. Optional rules, adjusting game difficulty and solo play, as well as scoring and the credits. And on the back here, the index. And a quick reference on the back of that. Next, there are three large sheets of counters and tokens, all sealed up. So let's get that off and have a look at the sheets. Here's the first sheet. Nice, thick card. We've got uh, adjustments to the investigator's abilities, clue tokens. And these are ship and train tickets, I believe. And that's the first player counter. And of course, the investigators. Here's the other side and the other side of the clue tokens showing you where they're placed. Second sheet shows the monsters. And these with the corner cut out, I think are the sort of epic monsters. And I believe this is the expedition token. Here's the other side showing us all the monsters stats that we'll have to overcome to defeat them. Here's the last sheet, health and sanity tokens here, gate tokens and some Eldritch tokens there. And the other side exposing where these gates open. Next is the mounted game board, which is sealed. So let's get this open and have a look. Here's the game board in nearly all its glory. I can't quite get it all in, but it's a nice looking map. Up the top, we've got the Doom track, Omen track over here. We've got places marked out, London, Arkham, and there are differences between these shaped like that and the sort of postcard shape, but we'll find out what that's all about. A key over here, and down the bottom, Here's Antarctica and the reserve, which is uh, like the marketplace where you buy your bits and pieces. But yeah, looks good. Next, a bag of standees and some D6s. There are 12 investigator sheets. So we've got Trish Scarborough there, the spy. Silas Marsh, the sailor. Norman Withers, the astronomer. And here we can see what their health and sanity is and their abilities. Mark Harrigan, the soldier. Lola Hayes, the actress. Lily Shen, the martial artist. Leo Anderson, the expedition leader. Jim Culver, the musician. Jacqueline Fine, the psychic. Diana Stanley, the redeemed cultist. Charlie Kane, the politician. And Akachi Onyeli, the shaman. And to go with those, we've got four ancient ones to battle. Cthulhu, of course. Shub Nigarath, Yog Sothoth, and Azathoth. And then there are cards. We have the Mythos cards, 
split into blue, green and yellow. I won't show you them because uh, you want to keep that as a surprise. But you build that deck, battle the Ancient Ones. Then there are the encounter cards. And these are split up into sort of each geographical area. So these are for Asia and Australia, Europe, the Americas, and a sort of general deck. Eighteen expedition cards, six types, depending where that. Uh, token is. Other world cards when uh, we try to close the gates. Research cards. I believe these are used when you want to go after clues, depending where you are. These are the special cards to do with the Ancient Ones you'll be attacking. So I think these might be the mysteries. Some other nasties there. And lastly, some more cards, but mini size. Here are the artifacts. A quick look at a couple of those. The asset deck, these are the items that go on that reserve section of the game board. Sometimes an investigator may receive a condition. Some good, some bad. And these have got stuff on the other side, which you have to do when it tells you. And some spell cards. Again, you have to normally test for an ability and then you flip the card over and see what happens. And then some reference cards, which you'll use depending on the number of players. And that'll tell you how many gates are spawned and clues and the monster surge. There we are. That's everything. So this has been an Open the Box, an unboxing of a game from my Not A War Game Wednesday series. And it was... Eldritch Horror, a game by Cory Konietzka and Nikki Valens, which in turn was inspired by Arkham Horror, designed by Richard Lonius and Kevin Wilson, and published, of course, by Fantasy Flight Games. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and you found it interesting. If you did and you haven't done so already, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help. Pushing that like button of the video, the thumbs up, helps tremendously as well. And if you want to be informed of other content the channel uploads, then push the bell. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I've watched a few playthroughs and I thought, yes, this looks fun. So I bit the bullet and got it. But as I say, let me know what you think, because I love to read them. Thanks as always to my subscribers. Thank you so much. Right then, until the next video, as always, you take care and goodbye.